Okay, today's uh, Thursday Torah texting challenge is as follows. The case was, we have a gentleman whose name is, what was his name? Late Lester. The late Lester. Uh, not late because he's dead, late because he's like late for everything. And as he's rowing to catch his flight, he turns to the porter and says, Porter, you know, I need help bringing, you know, obviously my, uh, my luggage. Meet me at the following terminal, the following location. Comes along Lester, what does he do? On the way he's like, oh, I need a coffee. He runs to grab a coffee. By the time he gets to his terminal and to his flight, he's already running very, very late. He notices that the porter that he hired uh, is not there. So Fibu texted me saying, well, the porter's just like doing him a favor, so you don't have to pay him. The porter doesn't get paid by the airline or by the airport. You ask him to slip your bags, you pay him to slip your bags. So a little bit of very important information I'm not sure people are aware of. One, according to the halacha, you have to be willing to lose one-fifth of all your nechassim, of all your property, if you're going to... Um, you're not obligated to lose more than a fifth, I should say, of your property to fulfill a positive commandment, a mitzvah say, If it's to transgress a negative commandment, you even have to lose all of your money. God forbid you transgress a love in Yisrael Doraita. If you, uh, how about if it's passive, meaning how about if you passively don't do anything, transgress a negative commandment, that is basically treated like a positive commandment. So says the Shulchan Arach. Now, what happens if you don't pay a worker on time? You hire someone, gentlemen and ladies, if it's to fix your car, if it's to fix your suit, if it's to fix your whatever it is, not paying a worker on time, you transgress one positive commandment, the mitzvah aseh of biyomoti ten scharo, and five lavim in the Torah. You transgress five lotaseis in the Torah if you don't pay your worker on time. So if you do work for somebody, or if, by the way, what you should say is when you're paying a worker, you should say to them, I'm giving you money, and by this I fulfill a positive commandment. You get extra schar. It's beautiful. So here we go. However, this is a strange case, because here was Luster's fault. What did Luster do? Luster decided, so I'm going to go get a cup of coffee. He should have instead gone to the point that they decided and met the porter and paid him money that he deserved. Well, we see if he's going to find this porter, he might lose his flight, which is obviously going to cost him money in rebooking fees. So what should he, in fact, do? So the halacha is, Luster should do everything he can to find that porter, potentially even miss his flight, not to transgress a mitzvah in the Torah. However, if you want to argue, and I hear this rationale, that the porter's job isn't over until, what? He literally hands the bags over to... Luster, then I get it. Then maybe he didn't finish, shall we say, his job, right? His sense of responsibility and his obligation. Um, if for sure the porter ran out of the building, you know what I mean, and he went to do, he left the building, he left somewhere, he would not be obligated necessarily to chase after him. But if the porter was actually looking for Luster, because, hey, where'd he go, where'd he go, you would actually would have to somehow, exactly how you could discern that, I'm not 100% sure, but you have to do whatever you can to try and find that porter to pay him the money. What about if you say, you know what, I'm going to go on an airplane, I'm going to take the pl flight anyways. What do you do? So you'd have to try everything you can to eventually pay him back. And if you can't pay him back, you would actually, according to the Simon Shin, Samech uh, Vav in Choshem Mishpat, you'd have to take the money and give it to at least Tzorche Rabim, but you'd not be allowed to keep that money. That is our uh, Thursday texting Choshem Mishpat challenge of the day, and the winner I will receive the, an announcement. They'll be notified over text, and then we'll tell everybody else over uh, other various multimedia things. Yeah, and I just.